The story of King Melchizedek is one that has intrigued and captivated believers and scholars alike for generations. His enigmatic appearances in the Bible, particularly in the book of Genesis and later in the book of Hebrews, carry an aura of profound mystery, reverence, and theological significance. Our first encounter with Melchizedek occurs in the book of Genesis during a pivotal moment in the life of Abraham. After Abraham's triumphant return from rescuing his nephew Lot and defeating a coalition of kings, this mysterious figure emerges on the scene. Melchizedek is described as both a king and a priest, a combination that immediately sets him apart from other biblical characters. Yet, what truly piques our curiosity is the ritual that unfolds in their encounter. In a remarkable foreshadowing of the New Testament sacrament of the Lord's Supper, Melchizedek brings forth bread and wine, symbolic elements of blessing and sustenance. He then utters words of blessing over Abraham, saying, Blessed be Abram by God Most High, Creator of heaven and earth, and praise be to God Most High, who delivered your enemies into your hand. Genesis 14, verse 9 to 20. This blessing carries profound spiritual weight, acknowledging the sovereign authority of the Creator and His role in Abraham's victories. What further deepens the intrigue surrounding Melchizedek is the absence of any genealogical information. In a book that meticulously records genealogies elsewhere, the silence regarding Melchizedek's lineage is deafening. He appears suddenly in the narrative, without any reference to his ancestry, and just as mysteriously disappears. The mystery surrounding Melchizedek is not confined to the Old Testament. In the New Testament book of Hebrews, particularly in Hebrews 7, Melchizedek is elevated to a position of unparalleled significance. The author of Hebrews describes him as, without father or mother, without genealogy, without beginning of days or end of life, resembling the Son of God, he remains a priest forever. Hebrews 7-3 This extraordinary characterization draws a striking parallel between Melchizedek and Jesus Christ, the eternal high priest. Many theologians and scholars view Melchizedek as a type or foreshadowing of Christ himself. The absence of a genealogy and the eternal nature of his priesthood echo the eternal priesthood of Jesus, who is both our king and high priest. Melchizedek's role as a priest-king and his blessing of Abraham find their ultimate fulfillment in Christ's redemptive work on the cross and his intercessory role as our eternal high priest. The story of King Melchizedek invites us to contemplate the depths of God's divine plan. He appears as a mysterious figure, bearing the titles of king and priest, and blessing Abraham with a ritual that prefigures the sacraments of the Christian faith. The absence of a genealogy challenges us to embrace the mysteries of faith and recognize that God's plan often unfolds in unexpected and extraordinary ways. Ultimately, Melchizedek points us toward the greater mysteries of salvation and the person of Jesus Christ. He serves as a reminder that God's work transcends our understanding and that His divine plan is filled with awe-inspiring moments and figures. Just as Melchizedek blessed Abraham, Christ blesses us and intercedes on our behalf, bridging the gap between the earthly and the divine and fulfilling the promise of salvation for all who believe. In the mysterious life of King Melchizedek, we find a tapestry woven with threads of faith, foreshadowing, and divine significance. A tapestry that encourages us to delve deeper into the mysteries of God's plan and to embrace the eternal priesthood of Jesus Christ, our King and High Priest. Thank you for joining us on this inspiring journey through the Forgotten Tales of the Bible. We hope you've been enriched and uplifted by these Bible stories. If you enjoyed this video and want more captivating Bible stories, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Your support keeps our channel thriving. Remember, faith can move mountains, and we're here to inspire your faith journey. Until next time, may God's blessings be upon you.